Hamzat Shamayev is an up-and-coming star in the UFC after his historic three-month run where he competed in and won three fights. The hype train was behind him like no other. Fans from across the world were urging the UFC to put him in a welterweight title fight or at least someone in the top five. To say the least, he's been very impressive every time we see him inside and outside the octagon. Unfortunately, he caught the infamous virus and had complications in his recovery process. From coughing out blood, fatiguing in hotel lobbies, Hamzat was not able to get back in the cage no matter how hard he tried. He is now said to be healthy and ready to go, but it seems like the more he's not in the octagon, the less his star shines. Add to the fact that news about him disbanding from his management team and turning down fights, Hamzat has a lot of question marks surrounding him. Before we go any further, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you want more, let us know down in the comments below. Hamzat Shamayev is a very unique case. We haven't really seen somebody like him. We, we've seen guys that are from Russia, we've, guys, we've seen guys from Dagestan, we've seen guys that are aggressive in their wrestling, uh, we've seen guys uh, <laughs> um, fight multiple times in a span of like six months, whatever it may be. But you haven't seen somebody with all those things together. And Hamzat Shamayev, regardless of how much he talks or lack of talking, he has a lot of charisma. He has, he has what it takes to be a star in the UFC. But the problem is, recently, uh, ever since he's caught the virus, it seems like he's doing all the wrong things. Literally, all the wrong things. He got the virus, he decided to uh, try to train through it. He tried to force himself to recover faster. He um, battled with the UFC. He battled with uh, retirement. Um, and then he finally, finally got better because um, they escalated and, and helped him, the UFC that is. Now, after that point, Kamzat came out and said, I want to fight at 170, I believe in August, September 185. October 170, November 185. Uh, what I get from this is that he might feel the pressure of having to fight multiple times back to back, or might that just might be his his thing. He feels like you know what I can do it. Why not? Uh, but also to send out a message. His message is, hey guys, what I was before is what I am today. I've not lost what I was before, that guy that fought three times in a span of three months and won all my fights. It came out, two big pieces came out, two big pieces. Ali Abdulaziz is no longer representing Hamza Shamayev. Now, Ali Abdulaziz manages a lot of fighters in the UFC uh, and MMA as well. Hamza Shamayev also has another team around him. Ali Abdulaziz, you can think of him as another layer above your team that you currently have. He has so many play, uh, so many fighters on his team, Ali Abdulaziz, that it's kind of hard for him to manage the day-to-days, uh, to manage uh, these guys' careers from a micro level. What he will do, Ali Abdulaziz, he will get you the most money, he will get you the best opportunities, and he will constantly he will constantly push you to the top. Now, there's obviously people that are exceptions to, to that under the, the flag of Ali Abdulaziz, but Hamzat Shamayev came out. Um, actually, he didn't come out, but it was found out through the Dominance website, which is Ali Abdulaziz's management team, that Hamzat Shamayev is no longer there. Whether that is because of the the conflict between Hamzad's camp and the Khabib camp. Uh, maybe it's a question of loyalty. Maybe Ali Abdulaziz saw this conflict and said, you know what, I cannot get in the middle of this. I have to choose a side. And the side I'm going to choose is the guys that I've always been with. The guys that have stuck around with me that um, have been around for from day one. And I'm going to decide uh, to pick these guys and, and not have to deal with, with that conflict. From a perspective of Khamzat Shamayev, whatever the, the, the conflict is, having Ali Abdulaziz in your corner is priceless. It, it is priceless. That guy has 
amassed such a large roster under his under his his flag or whatever under his team that he's able to do things that nobody else is able to do he's able to to vouch for these guys he has the the ear of the ufc he has the ear of dana white and it's proven from time to time that ali abdulaziz delivers he delivers for his fighters now the the, the second thing is luke rockhold came out and said he offered to fight Hamzat Shemaev on his return. But there's one problem. Luke Rockhold is a middleweight. Luke Rockhold has tried to go to 205, but he had his most success at middleweight, 185. Hamzat Shemaev, news came out that he turned down that fight. Now, without context, if you hear Luke Rockhold offer the fight and Hamzat Shemaev declines it, your entire perception of Hamza Shamayev goes out the window. You believe Hamza Shamayev is this guy that will fight anybody, anywhere, anytime, any weight class. He's even said that he's going to go fight at 185. But the mistake here is Hamza Shamayev is at 170. He's always been 170 pounds. The only reason why he faced a 185 uh, opponent was so that he's able to fight continuously. So he's able to, to go in there and keep his winning streak, to keep active. His real intention is to stay at 170. But without saying anything, without having a management team that, that goes out and explicitly puts out content and, and tells the truth, you kind of take away from Khamzat. And I feel these little things are slowly adding up and time is running out. He said August, it's already July. Unless he finds a fight very soon in the 170 division, I think Hamzad is in trouble of, of him losing what he once had. It's already been a very long time since he, since he had that momentum, had that push. But he needs to, to, to come out and start accepting fights. Start the, the Hamzad train again. He needs to win a fight. I'm not off the train. I'm not really like... I don't believe it's a train. I don't. <laughs> I'm. I'm a supporter of of all MMA fighters. I, I hope they all succeed and and they all get better. But Hamzat is a little bit different. He can go in there in in August, fight somebody 170, and then fight in top five. Done. Please not Leon Edwards. <laughs> please, please. I beg you not Leon Edwards. But it could be done. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you want more, let us know down in the comments below. What do you think is going to happen with Hamza al-Shamaya?